you have the education and the tools to work, and you do work hard, you can make any kind of success you want out of yourself. I grew up in East Portland, North Portland, and I was the oldest of five kids. We first lived in a small two-bedroom home with six of us, and then we moved eventually, 1953, to a um, bigger home with uh, uh, extra bedrooms, but we only had one and a half baths for the seven of us. The half bath was an outdoor bath on the porch. We could use it in the summertime, but it froze in the wintertime. Both my parents instilled in all of us early on a sense of uh, self-responsibility, uh, become self-reliant. Both parents were high on integrity and, and, and being really good citizens. But we had no money to speak of growing up in 1952. Family of six, my father's uh, total income that year was $3,000. He was teaching school at a private school and they didn't get paid a lot in those days. And so he took a summer job in 1953. That's when I started working. I was nine years old and I was helping him paint the inside of a building. And my dad usually worked two jobs, sometimes three. I had regular summer jobs doing lawn work, delivering the uh, newspaper in the afternoons, picking berries. I played football for two years and I ran track all four years, but all along I worked during the school year as a janitor basically and then had summer jobs. When I started college, I was, again, working part-time, going to school full-time. My first thought was to become a high school football coach. I changed my major to business, then I got my break, really, when I got a job between my sophomore and junior year in college, loading trucks and eventually a driving job. A college professor loaned me $450 to get started with my first truck. He helped me get incorporated and set up my business. That sort of launched my career. I just had the one truck I was driving at myself, and you were living, you know, load to load. I was a quasi-mechanic, so I'd work on my own equipment. And then I'd fill in substitute runs and weekend uh, runs that were short. Those were pretty, pretty lean days. As a fellow, Mo cleaned out a broom closet for me. I make that my first office, and I, my rent was $45 a month. And he said to me after about a year, he said, Peter, you're either going to go broke or become a millionaire. I said, well, Mo, I'm not going to go broke. And so here we are.